Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Now it is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, then um, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. If you still don't find them there, check back with me in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay, so at the heart of this reading, we have the mystic circle and the hindrance. Mm -hmm. And we have the page of cups, knight of wands, and the heart. Okay, so hindrance um, speaks to fate, uh, a fated event that has happened. Um, and that is... Um, uh, that is that that fate has blocked this path here of the page, the knight in this this uh, romantic uh, connection, most likely deep, uh, probably very intense, but um, with what I'm seeing here, you were shown signs, okay? That's, you actually walked away from this because you were shown signs, because you were given that feeling. This was spirit protecting you. This was leading to heartbreak. And as difficult as it was to walk away, had you stayed, I think it would have been worse. And and that's... Um, okay, so that's the central issue, is, is that you walked away from this person, but I don't feel this person is exactly giving up. But we see it's blocked, okay, by you, actually, because you're listening. You see, um, your abilities were more enhanced or are more enhanced at this time in order to protect yourself from something that could cause you a lot of heartbreak. Somebody's watching. Now, it could be you, could be them. Um, they could be planning something. Um, you could be wondering if this person was planning something. Um, because you are looking at, the, you took the star out of the lantern. You're looking at it. You're studying it. Um and you're not trusting it. It's like um, it is very challenging for you because of the deep, intense connection you feel for that person, but you're not trusting it. You're being given a sign. There's a feeling. And it's heavily on your mind. And it's keeping you uh, actually safe. You have suspicions uh, about someone. And so uh, this is what, um, what uh, preceded that decision was, were these suspicions. You weren't happy uh, with the options that were presented to you or you weren't happy with something about it or about... For somebody, I mean, it could be somebody you recently were dating, but um, and maybe it was topsy turvy, um, and they wanted to fix things, or it could be someone from your past. Whatever this is, you were not happy with what was being offered to you. You weren't happy about moving forward 
with that person. There was something about that that stopped you. And maybe you uh, were not believing what they were telling you or showing you. Um, you may have thought that they uh, wore two faces because I have the twins here. Yeah, see? There's the twins. And you're looking back and you're looking back at, at this fellow here, this offer. Yep, there it is, to move forward. You're looking back and, and you're like, well, something doesn't feel right. Something just doesn't feel right about this. I feel that he's hiding something or um, he's got hidden intentions, you know. Yep, and this is what you're thinking of. And you're struggling with this. And so you're holding back. You're doing the right thing, but you still, uh, it's like you're at a war with the feelings you have because you did have these really intense feelings. I mean, it could be uh, that you felt it was too risky, you know, here's the Ace of Rods, here's the Ace of Rods, if you pick it up, it could be very risky that you're going to fall. It could be very risky, excuse me, I hit the mic, sorry, that you would get set aside by this person or that there was others uh, or were others involved. And um, so you did not have confidence in it or you don't or you will not if it has not yet happened. Yeah, you, uh, you felt you weren't going to get your wish and even like it, it has, uh, walking away was difficult and it's like that woe is me type of energy, but, um, you were reading the signs and, and you're on the money with it. that this was not or would not go forward okay there's a huge exclamation mark of if this is especially if it's someone from your past about this um going round and round and um each time you expect a different result but you know you always end up with the same result shedding light So again, you have uh, serendipity here with the knight and the dagger and the hourglass. So, well, first of all, the dagger is that symbol of danger, feeling threatened, uh, loss, being on your guard, um, betrayal, somebody who has bad intentions. Um, so serendipity is that, uh, could be, uh, that you were shown something, although it, to you, it, it appears like a discovery, but you were actually shown something that maybe made you aware of the dagger that saved you from, uh, any further heartbreak, you know, but the thing is, the knight, the person uh, is not giving up. They're coming back around. And with the feelings uh, that you have here of this deep connection, this intense passion, uh, the intensity of that connection, you will need to be careful you're being cautioned here. Um, this person, um, see the hourglass is about hesitating, putting something off because it just don't feel right. You know? Um, it could be also that that person uh, may come in and, and, um, and 
and uh, pressure you. Maybe you haven't yet broken up with this person. Maybe this is something you're thinking of doing, walking away. Because something doesn't feel right. I mean, it can go different ways here. There's a lot of worries with the umbrella. The butterfly uh, speaks to something fleeting. And you're reflecting upon this. This is like a, a short-term relationship. You have the council in the reverse here. I'll just show it to you. This is what it looks like upright. So the council. Um, the council are the luminous beings who hold the collective wisdom okay, uh, of, of humanity. They are the ones uh, before um, whom you will do your life review when you cross into the world of spirit. So a life review is when we place our, our good and our bad deeds on a divine scale and uh, attempt to explain why we, we, we did not love or forgive or, or um, dare uh, as greatly as we might have. Know that their wisdom is available to you at all times when you live in a state of yes, in an unconditional relationship with, uh, with life. They remind you of your place around a sacred fire, which has been reserved for you since the beginning of time. And you will claim it when, you're, when you own your inner wisdom. They want you to know that you're never alone and that you can turn to them to find the guidance you seek and listen to the to to the voice that arises uh, spontaneously. They say to turn a, a deaf ear to that nagging voice from your ego that tells you that you are not up for the task before you. And so, you may not feel up to this task before you. The intense feelings and connection may be or seem uh, overwhelming. You may feel pressured by this other person. So there's definitely an offer here. But should you take it, you feel something's wrong, like they're hiding something, and maybe you're afraid to look. You've got mixed feelings. You are in preparation here. This person is returning from your past and um, you're in the hangman mode, wondering still what to do. I think it's like you go back and forth and, and uh, what is the cost if I do this or if I do that. You do desire this person, but there is there are signs that you can't uh, you can't ignore. Yeah. And if it's someone from your past, it's like, you know, will you get a different result this time? Unlikely.
I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for um, subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has so generously sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.